Tyler from 10 Thumbs Pro. Today we're doing St. James Infirmary in the finger style. You can get tabs at Patreon, links in the description, plus some links to our other sites. One on one lessons, you'll see my email there. Hit like, subscribe, new guitar every Monday. Follow me on in and let's break it down. Come on in, let's do it. Okay, so this song has a nice little one beat intro. We're gonna start by making this D minor. This D minor comes from this A minor shape. And we're gonna start by making it right here. Fifth, seven, seven, six, five. D minor shape. By the way, if you like the tabs that you see on the screen, you can get a printable version by becoming a Patreon. You get these kind of tabs with all the lessons. Um, we'll link it in the notes and as well as the description. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start off and we're gonna play the seventh fret of the G string, the sixth fret of the B string, and that's four and one. Then on the first beat, we're gonna play the fifth fret of the A string, and then these two fingers are gonna play the B and the E string together. After that, your thumb will drop down and grab the seventh fret of the D, and your middle finger will play the high E string alone. Four and one, two. You're gonna come down and you're gonna make this A7. Now we're really only playing these two strings. So if you want, you could play just those two. Out of habit, it's easier for me to go ahead and just grab this chord. We play the open A string, third fret of the E, second fret of the B. And then on the fourth beat, we play the fifth fret and then the third fret. So we get Now if you want that bass to ring out less, you could get a little palm muting on it. So you go. Okay, so just that first measure, we get four and one, two, three, four and, make a D minor, play the open D string, and pinch the first fret of the E string together. One. Then you're gonna play just the third fret of the B alone, one and, and then you're gonna pinch the D and that same note together. One and two, one and two, three. The third beat, we do not have any melody. So I just strum through with my index finger, like that. One and two, one and two, three. On the fourth beat, you'll use these two fingers again to pinch the E and the B string. The melody is just this F note, but that double stop is nice. So you get back up to this D shape here. We're gonna start off the, the measure the same way we started at the beginning of the song. One, two, and then we're gonna come up. We're gonna play 12, 11, 10. Now this is a G minor chord. And it comes from that same shape here, way down here, but we're gonna play just these three notes. You can pull all three of them with your thumb, index, and middle together, or you can strum them. I like to pull them. We're gonna come down here, which is, 6th fret of the E, 8th fret of the B, 7th fret of the G, and this is another G minor. So we go. And then we make an A7, which is comes from this E shape, and then you remove your pinky. So it's 5, 7, 6, or 5, 7, 5, 6, 5, 5. And I'm plucking both the E and the B together with the bass, one, two, three. No melody on the second and third beat, so it's just down strums. Then you'll make a D minor, and you'll play that same kickoff that we did to start the song. So let's play through these first four measures together, nice and slow. Four and one, two, three, four and one, and two, three. 1, 
two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and. All right, halfway through the tune. All right, first time through, let's go ahead and play just those first four, no counting. One, two, three. And now we're in the second half of the tune. So we start off very similar. It has that same kickoff. But we're playing eighth notes now. We're going to go and play the E string on the offbeat. So we go four and one and two and. So we play that fifth fret quite a bit more. Down to this old fashioned a7 like we did earlier and then you'll do the fifth in the open a but you won't hit this on the offbeat so it's like three four into the d minor the d minor is a little different too because you're going to play the one and but on the second we don't have any melody so it's just a down strum so you go one and two so up to there really slow we get four and one and two and three four one and two another down strum on the three three fourth beat open e string and then this is where it gets a little complicated but it sounds really nice we're gonna make a b flat but i'm not using this shape and in fact i'm not actually playing this note here because i'm not going to need it i'm fretting the first fret with my index finger and I'm also using that index finger to play the first fret of the high E. My ring finger is here on the third fret of the G and my pinky's on the third fret of the B. So on the first beat, I pinch that first fret of the A string and I play the first fret of the high E and the third fret of the B together. And then I'll drop down and play the third fret of the G and the third fret of the B, just these two notes together. So it's one, two. I'm then going to fret the first fret of the E string and then the second fret of the B string. And that would be like me playing this A with an F note in it, which would be what? An A sharp five? Yeah. So, but it's really an A7. So I'm playing like an A7 sharp five. I'm only plucking the A string and then the B and the E. I'll remove the index finger and play just a good old fashioned A. And then I'm gonna make a D minor and pluck the open D string and the third fret of the B. So really slowly it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one. Then you would start over. If you were to finish the song there, because then you can play the circle as many times as you want. So if you were to keep it going, you would go one, two, three, back up to this shape, four, and one. And you're at the start of the song. But if you wanted to finish it, you would just strum through these three strings, the D string, G string, and B string. Not the high E, because you want the highest note that your ear hears, you want it to be this note here, the D note. And by strumming those three, your ear hears the D minor and the D note. So if you were to finish it, you would go. Just like that, and then you would be done. So let's play these second four measures together, nice and slow. One, two, three, four and one and two and three four one and two three four one two three four one two three four and one without counting one two three Well, like 
we're starting over, all right? Okay, so let's put the whole thing together and let's play the whole tune from the top. Here we go. One, one, two, three. have it folks st james infirmary enjoy it 10 thumbs pro cool everyone thank you so much for watching to the very end of the lesson here at 10 thumbspro.com we appreciate you learning with us now you got st james infirmary under those fingers in the finger style finger style is a type of guitar that i've been exploring a lot lately so we're going to see a lot more of it on the site coming up like i referenced in the video keep on rocking and rolling keep on enjoying it have fun and we're going to catch you next monday for our next lesson Take care. Have a lovely day. Ciao.